Hello everybody and welcome to episode 23 of our Sunderland career mode here on FIFA 18. Now we've got a fairly, fairly bumper episode of it today. Um, I was looking ahead, looking at fixtures. Obviously you'll notice we haven't gone ahead at all. Uh, the last game in the last episode was the 2 c draw against Derby. And um, that means a replay. And a replay's kind of cocked us up a little bit. Not only that, we have very important league games as well. So what I've decided to do is in this episode we're not just going to have one game not just two not just three but we're going to have four four games in one episode well, I'm going to try and condense each episode uh, each game sorry down from what it normally would be to fit it in in an episode that won't be too long um, but obviously this is likely to be a longer episode but in this episode we're going to play Huddersfield then West Brom then Derby in the re in the replay and then finally we're going to play Middlesbrough and the reason I've included Middlesbrough is because obviously it's a Derby it's the closest thing we've well, the best derby we got. We haven't got Newcastle, obviously, and I wanted to include Newcastle, uh, not Newcastle, Middlesbrough, as well. So we've got four games. Obviously, Brighton as well, not too far away, but we probably won't be doing that one. So we're going to play Huddersfield, who are who are very, very good. Um, as you can see, Huddersfield are top, and we're going to play West Brom, who are fourth. Derby in the FA Cup, who are third, and Middlesbrough are seventh. So these are very, very important games, so I felt like all of them needed really to be included. I couldn't really skip all of them. So I thought I'd just play them all. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first game, which is against Huddersfield. So here we go, first game. game Top of the league, Huddersfield. We've obviously played them already this season on a video. We would narrowly lost oh, that at home. And we also played Huddersfield away very early on in the uh, career mode, in the League Cup, which was away from home. At that time, obviously, it was a Premier League team against a League One team, and we came through that 3 2. Um, so, hopefully, we can have the same result to the away game. You might notice I've also made a few changes. I saw one of them, he's just had a shot there. That was close. Um, well, it wasn't close, was it? That's uh, it was on target, I'll give him credit. But yeah, we've made a few changes because players are a little bit tired, so I thought we might as well. And bloody hell, we scored from a corner. Paddy McNair, captain leader legend. Yeah, do a little dance. I did not expect that. I never expected to score from corners. Oh, well, I wonder what, four minutes in. Wait, what? Is it that? What? Is it? No, that's not. You can't give that as an own goal. Oh, that's see. Our captain's been robbed. It should never be an own goal, that. He, he was on target. He might have got a nick off him, but not enough to change. Oh, I disagree with that. Oh, dear. Oh, we've given the ball away there quite poorly. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's worth noting, it's been about half an hour. Not much has happened since the goal. They've, oh, we've given it away again. That's sloppy. They've probably had most of it, but they haven't had a good chance. We've had a half chance. Nothing much is happening. This would be a good this be a good win. We don't really need to do anything now. We could just go proper 4-4-2 and park the bus and make Sam Allardyce and Tony Pugh as proud. I think that might be a plan if it's 1-0 with 10 20 minutes to go. But until then, we'll keep, we'll keep going. Oh dear. Oh, 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 okay. Not quite sure how we didn't concede there. But it's still 1 0. So. I don't know what happened there. AI, eh? Can't give it away here. Keeps it okay. Go on, Creaser. Go on. Go on, keep going. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. He's just on side. Soro. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, lovely little goal, lovely little counter. They've just had their best opportunity, and what, what do you know? Up the other end. A oh, right back leading the charge. And Asura, maybe we should start him. Not over Kemar Roof, Kemar Roof's a god, but maybe we should start, you know, start Asura. And that is a big goal. We're 2 0 up at the league leaders. Just before half time, getting the second goal. Brilliant timing. Uh, as you can see, we we'll started the second half. Just more of the same. I mean, we've got two, a two goal lead. It's brilliant to have that. 
Pog. in this situation. Would have taken that. Just got, just got to be calm. Control the game. Don't do anything I'd normally do because that tends to lead to capitulations. We don't need capitulations, do we? Oh, we gave the ball away poorly there, but they can't shoot. Anyway, 15 minutes to go, as you can see. Not much has really happen. We're going to make some changes. Rico Henry seems a little bit knackered, so we're going to bring Clarky Boy on. Um, actually... Actually, Enabakara would be back on the bench next game, because he's only in because of a suspension at the moment. So I think we will bring Swift on for Wolf. So there's going to be our two changes. Not long to go. Jason with the free kick. It's a good header, it's their best chance to be fair, keep it out, don't need them in the corner. Probably is, other than the post, that's probably their best chance, certainly their best chance to second half, they really haven't had much. Blood of whistle, come on, come on. Why is he not blowing the whip? Two minutes, mate. Still not blowing it. Still not blowing it. Blow the... Why is he not... Two minutes, man. It's been ages. What's... What's he doing? Blow the... Why is he still playing? I'm... I'm not... This is ridiculous. Thank you. Jesus. There's the full-time whistle, finally. First game. On paper, the hardest, and we've won it 2 0. Listen to those boos, isn't that just lovely to hear? Beautiful stuff. Huddersfield 0, Sunderland 2. That's massive for our little uh, promotion push or playoff push, whatever you want to call it. There you go, stats. Says it all really. Nine shots, one on target for them. We go on into the next one. Right, we're on the team sheet bit. Um, before we're going into the West Brom game, just to bring you up to date with some things. First of all, the team for this game will be more like the normal one. Patterson will be back, Swift will be back, Maitland Niles is back from suspension. But one other area you can see, oh, so is Kemal Roof, by the way. One area you can see is that Wallace is in for Boyata and Hamlin's onto the bench. Boyata has got an injury for five weeks, which uh, isn't brilliant. That's why we kept people like Hamlin and Wallace at least till the end of the season. Um, so he'll be in for the rest of this episode, certainly. Um, which is a shame. But anyway, mustn't grumble. Fourth versus fifth, or fifth versus fourth. West Brom coming up next. So, game two. On paper, a little easier. But another relegated team. And obviously, the West Brom game at home was another, was another video. And it was probably the most famous win we've had in the series so far. 6-2. 6-2 against West Brom, and this gone Swift with no chance block. But if we can beat Huddersfield away, and we've already beaten these lot 6-2 at home, we can, we can get another win here, we can get another big win, which will certainly help secure ourselves in the playoffs. I didn't check the table before playing, I should have done that really. We'll do that after this game, before the derby game. One thing I do, I would love to see from FIFA, um, certainly on FIFA 19 or in the future is realistic transfers, not only just as a whole, because transfers are a little bit broken, especially loans, but when teams get relegated, like West Brom have here, I want the transfers to be a lot more realistic. Rondon, realistically, will probably be sold. Rodriguez will probably leave. Chadley will probably leave. Players like that won't want to play in the Championship, and I just think a slightly more realistic system, like Football Manager has, would certainly do this game a lot of good, because... Taking over relegated teams can be quite quite annoying, if anything, because you have to basically make it realistic yourself. You have to get rid of all these players yourself. Um, I think that's something they should really look to add in the future. Anyway, we've got a free kick here, and while I've got you here, we might as well embarrass myself by shooting. Yep. Put the ball through. Ambrose. Ambrose again. 1 0. I thought he was going to cock that up then, Thierry Ambrose, like he does so often, but this time he's came in good. 
And once again, we are leading away from home against a recently relegated Premier League side. He's going far too well. It's got to go wrong somewhere. Oh, shit, the bed. Ah, bollocks. One one, Jay Rodriguez. And this is certainly going to be a little bit more challenging it would appear than the last game, but still one one, still still in it. It's all good. Okay, we're on the ball. This is a good chance. Good chance. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Oh, he's pissed that up, isn't he? Shit. Oh, good save. Good save again. I'll tell you what, Cruz is earning his money. He can have whatever moustache he wants if he can get us anything from this game. You know what, I will take Rico Henry off. He seems a little bit tired. 15 minutes to go. A point will be a decent result, I think, to be honest. I think I'll take a point, so... This isn't bad. Weather doesn't have a storm, it's all good. Yeah, he looked so composed and then to do Oh what the shit that was not meant what was meant to happen. Bloody hell. Oh why is he doing that? There's clearly a better pass on there. Why would I want him to pass to him? I swear to god. Oh this game is shit. Why is it doing that? There was a player, there was a Sunderland player in front of the one he wanted to pass to. Why is he? Oh, fucking piece of shit. Good ball. Oh, he's got on out target. Can't believe that. We're going to possibly lose on something like that. Something so stupid like that. Guarantee now it's not good for me. Oh, piss off. Handball, really? That's that's a penalty, is it? Hit him on the nose. What do you mean he thinks the stud's showing? You fucking stupid ass commentary. Oh, he's going to dink it, is he? Prick. I don't want to sound butt hurt, but I really feel robbed here. I thought it would have been a decent point. I feel like shit game mechanics have left me to lose this. Not only the shitty passing. But the fact that that can be a penalty in any stretch of the imagination is fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Alright, 3-1. Whatever. In first things first, um, I said we'd look at the table because we didn't look at it after the first game. Um, slightly different outlook now we've lost uh, lost to West Brom. West Brom are now fourth. Um, we were fourth originally. We're four points clear of seventh place. Trevor Wednesday. That Middlesbrough game's become less important because it looks like they've lost lost the game. Um, yeah, man, it's just a little bit frustrating that we didn't get anything from that game. Like I said, a bit tilted, but we'll move on. The only other bit of uh, info: Didier Ndong has had an offer from Southampton for nearly ten million pounds. I'm just accepting anything for those types of players at this moment in time. So doesn't really bother me. Anyway. We're going to go with an unchanged team, probably. So uh, we'll just we'll, we'll see you in the game. So here we are, an FA Cup fifth round replay. This is quite a big deal for these two teams, obviously. In real life, if you get two championship sides with a chance of a quarter final, they're both going to be out for it. It always tends to be one championship team that can get far, and get to possibly even a semi final. Not this, not last season. Uh, it was all four big boys. We're giving one of the closest non Premier League club, I believe, to get in there. This is obviously a big deal. It would be nice to get to an FA Cup semi final. That would have been a perfect start. Kemar Roof going close. It's also 
while we're in the opening stages, it's worth noting that they're wearing black and I'm wearing sky blue to try and avoid any potential kit clash. It was either red and white against white or white against sky blue, so I just thought I'd let them have black and we're wear, wear, wear our way kit and uh, that made things a lot easier, so that would be that explanation. Ambrose asks, good save, is it fallen to, it has. It's fallen to Maitland Niles and probably shouldn't have, but it has, we'll take it. One nil up very early on. We always start halves very well. Whether it's first half or second half, we seem to start brilliantly. And it's a lovely little finish from, from Maitland Niles. The defender probably should have done better, but who gives a shit? That was another good shot from, another good, good chance there, ball comes in, he's going to get it, oh he probably should have done something different there, missed opportunity, we're dominating this game, which is a shame it's only one goal because we all know what can happen, don't really want to think about it, but it can happen. Can we get it in there, good corner, good corner. Penalty! Penalty! We've, we've got a dodgy shit penalty now. I feel like I deserved that at least for what happened last game. Let's see, was this one actually a handball or was this another bullshit? I mean that does kind of hit his hands and it does block the ball so that's a little less fishy than than the last one was. Is Kemar Reef taking this? I think Kemar Reef's taking this. Where should we put it? No, what, we don't go to the right often enough. Why don't we? Because it always seems to work out. 2 0 up. And we've got our foot in the door of an FA Cup quarter final there. No worry about the pressure or the responsibility here. Decent little penno. Harry Kane esque, shoved in the bottom corner. So and just before half time, we've got a second. Well, as you can see, we've reached half time. Two to up. It's going brilliantly. We're absolutely all over them. It's Eleven shots, seven on target. They've only had one. We are trouncing them at the moment. It's a shame we couldn't do this in the first game because we really could have done without this. But all that matters now is we're winning now, and just got to keep this up now, haven't we? Second half now. As you can tell, we've, we're closing in on 70 minutes. Not much has happened in the second half. They've they've came out a little bit more. I haven't really had any chance whatsoever. Um, yeah, it hasn't been in falling second half, but it doesn't have to be. We're just doing doing the job. That was a shit pass. Um, the yeah, not much is happening. Are they really allaying me when they're two 0 down? Piss off! Can't can't be doing that. Oh, he's got. Oh, it's shit. Thierry Ambrose doing what Thierry Ambrose does best there. Can we get it out? Interesting clearance that. I'm into an FA Cup quarter final. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at stats. Oh, domination. Domination. Should have won by a lot more than two, but never mind. Can't be that picky. Let's uh, have a look at who else is in the draw. Still, we still got Huddersfield, still got Liverpool, Man United, Everton, Chelsea. Interestingly, Tottenham were knocked out by Preston. That's that's surprising. By the looks of it, though, us and Preston are the only only Championship sides that are on Huddersfield, of course. So uh, it's looking quite tough. I don't know if, based on the tree, we're playing Everton. I don't know if that game tree is actually accurate to who we're playing. I'll quickly have a look. Um, it is. So we're playing at home to Everton. We played at Everton last season as well. And that's the game after Middlesbrough. So I'll tell you what we're going to do to ensure this video isn't stupidly long. The next episode is going to be Middlesbrough and Everton. And that will sort of... We can then go back to having gaps in between episodes, uh, like gaps in terms of weeks, if you know what I mean, in between episodes. So um, we're we're stopped now after three games. We're uh, 
we're playing Middlesbrough next episode and we'll play Everton as well so it'll be a double header that episode I don't know how long this episode is going to be but hopefully you're you're able to stick through it to the end um, and yeah we're into an FA Cup quarter final we won against the league leaders yes we lost to West Brom but it wasn't too damaging so we're looking good at the moment and Didier and Dong still holding on any prick um, oh good great drop of our youth program oh okay good um, yeah we're looking alright for the rest of these aren't we all good hence why we got 91 at the top anyway that brings us to the end of this episode like I said I don't know how long it will be but hopefully bearable if you enjoyed leave a like and uh, if you're new around here be sure to subscribe so you uh, get to see the new episode first um, again thanks for watching and goodbye